All right, we can't take it no more. We're going to take it for a drive. This sticker's not friendly to install, is it? Not very. It's still raining, but at least we can get in here and see if this junk will run. Unhook the solar battery panel charger and all that and see what happens. Alright, this ain't no cold start because it's like 80 degrees. Ran a couple weeks ago, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna pump the gas twice one, two, and crank it. I'm gonna turn the air compressor off so it's not to run the battery dead. Pump it one more time. Hot like this, the fuel evaporates from the carburetor right fast. Almost. There she goes. And the battery's going dead on the camera. We'll let her warm up a second. Turn the air compressor on. Air compressors. Let her warm up. Sounds like he's got a blower. Think it'll do a burnout? Yeah. One more time. We just have to let it warm up. This thing's been sitting around too long. We didn't get it all on video, but she ain't sounding too happy and wide open throttle. Maybe we better put some gas in her before we go wide, too much wide open throttle. I advanced the timing a little bit and she sounds a lot happier. So now we're gonna ride. Several years ago when she was just a little girl and she loved it I was just gonna sell it so I kept it. So we built a little 283. There's videos of that. There's my rudimentary control for the air ride. It's got an air horn on it sent to us by uh, uh, the artist formerly known as Full Throttle 440. I can't think of what his name is now. There's a solenoid for the air horn. It has a brake booster off of S10. Bracket by Captain Fab online. That thing's the, the cat's meow. It has a Pertronics distributor and flamethrower coil. It has a front suspension off a 78 Chevy C10, so it has disc brakes and all. It has airbag suspension. It has power steering. 
one out. There's videos that have bullet holes. <laughs> OMG! Don't worry folks, they're probably from a 22 bolt action. I straightened that hood out way back when. There's some videos on that. That was quite a chore. It's got some rust holes in the fender. See there? Five in the front. Homemade cut, homemade tips. Six in the back. Thirty-one ten five mud grips in the back. Custom stereo by Stove Bolt 50. He built that. That thing will do Bluetooth, SD card, memory stick, the whole nine yards. That thing's pretty cool. It has six inch um, subs under the seat. That's the air horn. These are the controls for the airbags. I built that little panel all by myself. That turns the system off. That turns the engine off, but you probably suspected that. The tack is incorrect. It's set up for a six cylinder, but I like the tack, so I haven't switched it. It does have the uh, little under the truck neon light system. I don't use that when I'm driving it, but. She sort of likes it, you know. I did put new rockers in it. Uh, what else? It has the original wood in the bed, which is not long for this world, but it's in there. I had to get a tailgate from the junkyard because the one that was on it is in real bad shape. There's videos of me making those tips. I made it one hot evening. It's pretty cool. This old truck's got a lot of cool stuff on it. The four-speed transmission in it was one a guy dropped off over here. He couldn't make it shift right because the Hurst shifter had uh, just wasn't adjusted correctly. Transmission just fine. We put linseed oil on the roof. It probably needs a reapplication. What else? Oh, let me tell you about this. Some people say I'm a hoarder. I don't believe it. But those heads are off in that engine are off a of 305, which were on this girl I knew, and don't tell Miss Chevy Chevy, but I had a huge crush on her. In high school, <clears throat> she had, a, I think it was an 84 Z28 with a 305. Those heads are off that car. I saved them. Can you believe that? Isn't that crazy? I even told her they're on there. She thought it was pretty cool. I didn't tell her I had a crush on her then, though. She might have known that. I don't know. I'm getting sidetracked. Let's get back to the truck. She rode horses. Back to the truck. Um, I haven't got a heater core in it. Ain't got air conditioning in it. It's got the power steering brackets off my old blue and white Chevy down there. There's a lot of cool stuff on this truck. So, there it is. Thanks for watching. Alright, there's a picture of how low she will go. That's it. She don't drag frame, but that's alright.